Want to hire a good bronco buster? Well, if it ain't Ace Cooper. Good to see you, Ace, you old son of a gun. What are you doing down here, anyway? I'm sure glad to see you, Ace. How come you hopping along here, Ace? I thought... Been reading the papers, Skeeter. Thought you might need some help down here. Well, that poor girl of Dad sure needs some help. How is she? Last time I saw her, she was just a kid. Say, you've got some picture to look at when you meet up with her. Ah, uh, she, she was a pig tail. She left Oklahoma. She'll darn soon remember you. Her dad's best friend. I don't want her to know me. Why not? I came down here to investigate Dad Mason's death. Remember, I'm not Ace Cooper. Just Tex, a friend of yours. I don't want anybody to know me. How come? Dad sold me a half interest in his cattle. And he left my ranch in Oklahoma with the money to pay off that fellow Burton. What? Ace, there's something funny going on here. Let's put the Sure was a nice supper, Miss Betty. I'm glad you liked it. He liked my supper. Yeah. You figure on staying down here a long time? Oh, I don't know. I just sort of drift in and out. Here comes Burton. I wonder what he's up to now. Feed the horses. Evening, Miss Mason. I told you not to serve this now. And Bill is going to see that nothing is removed until my claim is settled. All right. You've been wanting trouble with me. Now you're gonna get it. What's the trouble, Tex? Are you a friend of his? Well, you see, we used to ride together. The point is, are you riding him now? No. I, uh, I just stopped off a couple of days, but I'm gonna be rambling on. Well, if you know what's... Understand, Miss Mason? That attachment covers everything on this property. All right, Harper's room, let's get going. And then. You wouldn't, would you? About that. What's the matter down there, Hank? Shooting the house. Let's go see what it is. Let's go. What's the matter, Mr. So hold up. Get the boys. Get on your horses. What's wrong? Hey, get on your horses, man. Saddle up.
Yes? Is there anything wrong? No. There's nothing you could do. Go back to sleep. Come oh on. Come on. Come on. I'm telling you, he was a dude bandit. He held me up right at my own ranch. And got away from you and your men? Yeah, and took that long-legged foreman of yours with him. What kind of a man was he? Best dressed cowboy I ever saw. Yes? Say, where does this fellow Tex hail from? Oh, goodness, you don't think he's a bandit, do you? Oh, no, he ain't got sense enough to be a bandit. Sure you ain't seen him? No, but I'd like to. I'd like to meet the man that could put it over on you and your men. Well, we've hunted everywhere except this. Hey, you sure put one over on Burton. Shh! Come in here and keep quiet. They find out you're here, it'll cause trouble for Betty. Where you been? I put the black horse away. You know something, Skeeter? We gotta work fast. Burton's closing in on us. I've had an idea. Yeah? Mason's old rim fire gun. I'll let you know in a couple of seconds. How come you hopping along here, Ace? I thought you were doing pretty well up in Oakland. Sure, I am. Been reading the papers, Skeeter. Thought you might need some help down here. Well, that poor girl of Dad sure needs some help. How is she? Last time I saw her, she was just a kid. Say, you've got some picture to look at when you meet up with her. Ah, she wouldn't remember me. She was in pigtails in Oklahoma. She'll darn soon remember you. Her dad's best friend. No, I don't want her to know me. Why not? I came down here to investigate Dad Mason's death. Remember, I'm not Ace Cooper. Just Tex, a friend of yours. I don't want anybody to know me. How come? Dad sold me a half interest in his cattle. And he left my ranch in Oklahoma with the money to pay off that fella Burton. What? Ace, there's something funny going on around here. Let's put the horses up and go on up the house. Sure was a nice supper, Miss Betty. I'm glad you liked it. You liked my supper. Yeah. You 
figure on staying down here a long time? Oh, I don't know. I just sort of drift in and out. Here comes Bert. I wonder what he's up to now. Well, feed the horses. Evening, Miss Mason. I told you not to serve this attachment, Burton. Then pay me my money. You left that phony quarantine so we can ship cattle and you will get paid. The money is due now. And Bill here is going to see that nothing is removed until my claim is settled. All right, Bill, take charge. You've been wanting trouble with me. Now you're going to get it. What's the trouble, Tex? Are you a friend of his? Well, you see, we used to ride together. The point is, are you riding with him now? No. I, uh, I just stopped off a couple of days, but I'm going to be rambling on. Well, if you know what's good for you, you'll start rambling now. Yes, sir. You understand, Miss Mason? That attachment covers everything on this property, including your cattle. All right, Hargett, bring your prisoner. Let's get going. Miss Betty, he shouldn't have tackled that crowd single-handed. You wouldn't, would you? No, it's too dangerous. I guess if there's nothing more I can do, I might just as well turn in. Yes, you might as well. Good night. Good night. Stop at the ranch, Mike. Jack, you ride into town, bring out Doc Pettit. I'm going to stay here and take care of this hand. I thought you were taking me to jail, Hargan. I'll take care of you.
Sit down there. Oh, I didn't send for Doc Pettit to fix that. He'll have a bigger job when he gets here. You ain't figuring on another killing, are you, Burton? Maybe. You see, while I was dressing the wound that you gave me, you tried to escape. You slipped the rope from off your hands, made a jump for my gun that's there on the desk. And as you came at me, I got that gun. Get over there with your face against the wall. If you're looking for money, I haven't got any. We'll see about that. What's the matter down there, Hank? Shooting down there with the house. Let's go see what it is. Let's go. What's the matter, Mr. Burton? It's a hold up. Get the boys. Get on your horses. What's wrong, Pete? Get on your horses, man. Saddle up. Come on, boys. Hurry up.
There he goes. Is that you, Miss Mason? Yes. Is there anything wrong? No. There's nothing you could do. Go back to sleep. Come oh on. Come on. Come on. I'm telling you, he was a dude bandit. He held me up right at my own ranch. And got away from you and your men? Yeah, and took that long-legged foreman of yours with him. What kind of a man was he? Best dressed cowboy I ever saw. Yes? Say, where does this fellow Tex hail from? Oh, goodness, you don't think he's a bandit, do you? Oh, no, he ain't got sense enough to be a bandit. Sure you ain't seen him? No, but I'd like to. I'd like to meet the man that could put it over on you and your men. Well, we've hunted everywhere except this house. Nope, he ain't here. Who ain't here? A man, son, a man. You sure put one over on Burton. Shh! Come in here and keep quiet. They find out your hair will cause trouble for Betty. Where you been? I put the black horse away. You know something, Skeeter? We gotta work fast. Burton's closing in on us. I've had an idea. Yeah? Now, here's Dad Mason's old rimfire gun. Yeah. What about it? It's a funny thing, you know. I found this thing going on around here. Is this the gun that was found in Dad Mason's hand? Yes. And this shell was in this gun? It sure was. Yeah, I got an idea too. Another postponed meal for me. You're just in time for breakfast. Oh, Lord love you. I had breakfast hours ago. Well, sit over there and have a cup of coffee. Sam, another cup, please. Just dropped in to see if you'd heard about the dude bandit. Yes, I heard about him last night from Mr. Saxon's uh, boss. What are you doing around here, Bill? Burton's orders. 
He's here to see that I don't try to uh, move any of my cattle. Sugar? No, black. So Burton didn't catch the dude bandit, did he? No. He found one man who was too smart for him. Good morning, Miss Mason. Good morning, Mr. Tex. Thanks. Mr. Brown, this is Tex, friend of Skeeter's. He's stopping over for a few days. Howdy. How do, sir? Stranger in these parts, eh? Uh-huh. You ain't the dude bandit, are you? Oh, don't think <laughs> he's a dude bandit. No such luck. Well, I guess I was jumping the gun a little. What I heard, the bandit's a different sort of a man. Yes, quite different. Uh, could I have some flapjacks, please? Oh, by the way, Mr. Brown, you haven't seen Skeeter, have you? No, I figure he's hiding out with the bandit that helped him to escape. Oh, I do hope he's safe. Have you some eggs? Help yourself. Oh. Don't you worry about Skeeter. With a friend like you, I suppose he'll be all right. Coffee. I'd like to meet up with that bandit. I may need some help myself. From what I hear, Burton's going to attach my stocks. We're both in the same trap, Betty. Yes, Burton's trap. Uh, excuse me, please. Certainly. Uh, I was, I was going to feed my horse. There's plenty of hay in the barn. Yeah, but uh, you see, he's he's peculiar. He's like I am. He don't care any more for hay than I do. Oh, take him anything he wants. Thanks. Maybe your horse would like a cup of coffee, too. Yeah, maybe he would. <laughs> He's a funny fellow, ain't he? Yes, very funny. <laughs> Chase, ain't I ever going to get to put my feet under the table again? Why don't you tell Betty that I'm hiding out here? I don't dare with a guard hanging around here. You know, Skeet, I hate to fool Betty by playing a sap. Besides, it's getting me in wrong with her. How come? This morning, she looked at me like I was dirt under her feet. I just got to do something to stop that fellow Burton before I'm thrown out of here. She's attaching Brown's cattle tonight. Gee, Ace, can't we do something? No. But the dude Bannett can do something. Can I go with you? I should say not. A target. Besides, you're only a couple of hands shorter than a windmill. Yeah, I don't seem to fit in nowhere. out. I'm going to serve this attachment tonight. The shot came from back of those rocks. the dude bandit.
pardon me for breaking in on you, lady, but... Come on, open up and let us in. Don't break the door down. Where are you going? Out the back way. No. Mac, try that window. Hide in my room. No, no. I don't want to get you in trouble. Please. Look, you stall him off. I'll get away, all right. Are you sure? As sure as I am, I'll see you again. Whiz, don't you know it's unhealthy to sleep when the window's down? Gosh, Especially I for me. I can't open it. It's locked. Then break it. What's the idea of breaking my window? Open it when we knock. Where'd he go? Don't shoot, mister. I'll give you all my money. Well, out with it. That's all I got. Where's your gun? Here it is, mister. Please don't shoot. Open up, Ralph. Blow the lock off. Don't, no, don't shoot, mister. I'll open up. It's gone out the window. Why, that's a tree. Oh, yeah, so it is. <laughs> what are you trying to do, plug me? Well, he's around here somewhere. Gee, I might have got hurt. I don't want you to get hurt. So I think you'd better leave in the morning. Yeah, I, th I think so, too. Art. Hello, Miss Betty. May I see you a moment? Sure. Any of you boys looking for a job? Well, I reckon we all are. There's $10 paying it for six good men. Well, Miss Betty, that. That's gun man's pay. Yes. I want men who can run cattle fast and shoot if they have to. Hi, Sally. When do we start? We'll round them up tonight. Right. You in on this, Hank? Count me out. Oh. Boys, Miss Betty's got one us to round some cattle up tonight. And there's ten dollars in it for each of us. Let's go. Ten dollars, I should say. Where's she taking those men? Why, they for her. Why should I tell you, Doc? I was just going into the hotel, Mr. Burton, when I met Betty Mason and four or five men coming up. I asked old Hank Perkins where they were going, and he told me. After I had paid him, of course. Well, go on, go on, you'll get... All in good time, Mr. Burton. Hank said... If they were going out to the ranch to wrestle her cattle you attached. They're going to round them up tonight, but I don't know which way they're headed. Hmm. Jack, you'd better ride out to the Mason Ranch tonight. What do you want me to do? Stop her? No, no. At least not until she's far enough on the trail so that we can get her for rustling and breaking the quarantine. That's right. I'll be out the first thing in the morning. All right. Duck, will you have a little drink? Oh, thanks. 
I don't mind a very small one. Help yourself. I am too going with you. But you can't do me any good, I tell you. I ain't as dumb as you think I am. I'm smarter than Bert Norman. I said you're staying right here. I said you... Well, another Mike should have doubt and me go to sleep. Now, you see what you did? You started this whole thing. Yeah, but I want to go with you. All right, all right, but keep quiet. Mr. Burton left me to here to guard his ranch, and I'm done. That darn dude bandit tried to rob him last night. Well, say, where was Burton and his men riding to when they left here? What the heck? So who do you think you are questioning me, huh? I'm the best cattle inspector this county ever knew. And when I quarantined cattle, they Quarantine. That's me. Don't you think I don't know you either? You're the guy that tried to shoot us, Mr. Burton. And he knows it. And he's looking for you. The dude bandit. Huh? you some questions, and you better answer them. Yes, Mr. Bandit. Where was Burton going when he left here? Out to Mason's Ranch. What for? Well, you see, Brown and she were going to drive off those cattle, and Burton went out to stop her. Hey, they'll have an honor for rushing and breaking that quarantine. He'll send her to jail. Right back to range, find him and stop him. I'll take care of Doc Pettit. Sit down. Yes, Mr. Bandit. Oh. Take a little drink. Uh, thank you, sir. You can tell Mr. Burton I found what I wanted. Yes, Mr. Bandit. And don't you move. Stay right there. I'm liable to be back in a minute. Yes, Mr. Bandit.
Don't draw. I'll call you. What do you got? Ferris. Get down. Jack, don't you think you ought to give me a break? You remember when you and I used to be buddies together, don't you? I'd like to, but you'll wind up a shooting Burton in the hand. He'll be along pretty soon. Jack, you're smart enough to know how I'm going to get kitted about this. It's a disgrace, you know, for a man to get caught without putting up some kind of a fight. Oh, they'd laugh at you anyway. Yeah, but this fellow Burton would think a heap more of you if you'd shoot it out with me. Why not shoot a hole through my hat just to make it look like we'd had a fight anyway? Well, I can't see no trouble with that. Thanks. Try another one. Suppose you could shoot a couple through my shirt tail. Gee, that was close. Well, you ain't going to feel this one. Say, you're sure some shot. I wonder if you couldn't just shoot the tip off of this ear. Hold it there. All right, Skeet? I guess so. Come on, get up. Say, uh, raise that rope up around his neck so he'll be a little more comfortable. What are you going to do to me? I'm going to hang you. He didn't do anything, Ace. Oh, yes, he did. He killed poor old Dad Mason. I didn't kill him. You put that cartridge in the stove so it'll look like suicide. I did not. Oh, yes, you did. Burton told me so. Burton? Start walking. What are you going to do to me? I'm going to make this look like suicide. Hold on. Burton lied to you. He did it himself. Give me a chance. I'll tell everything. That's all I wanted to know. Well. Come on, get on that horse. No, 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 no. It's Burton, Mr. Brown. Somebody squealed on us. We must get the 
cattle back. We can do that. They all up the camp. Put up that gun, Burton. I'll take care of this. Give me that gun. I'm arresting you for the murder of Dad Mason. Well, what are you talking about? Why, Sheriff, you must open that envelope. Well, I sure did after I found out that you disappeared from the hotel last night. Well, looks like you got a complete case against them. Well, Sheriff, this man's a bandit. Ah, oh, no. You're all wrong. Ace Cooper, alias the Dude Bandit. <laughs> uh, you want me for anything more, Jim? No, no. Well, so long. Have a good trip, Burton. Come on, Burton. I'll wait here for the rest of the boys, Mr. Brown. All right, Betty. He won't bother you anymore. So you did remember me, Mr. Bandit. And came back to see me. Sure. I remembered everything. Say. Do you all still like dude Bandit? Come up here, Tex. You don't remember me, do you, Betty? No. I'm Ace Cooper. Oh, of course. Ace Cooper of Oklahoma. <laughs> and I thought you were a real bandit. Hey, bandit. You're going to join this family. You better start wrestling them cattle. 